We live in a world with near unlimited content. But unfortunately, we don't have unlimited time, so how do we decide what anime is worth spending it on? For some, they live and die by that three-episode rule. For others, just give it till episode 100, I promise you it gets good. But what about those shows that only need 24 minutes of your time to prove themselves? The perfect first episode. They do exist, and today I'm going to talk about one of them, my favorite of them all, episode one of Cross Game. Based on the work of Mitsuru Adachi, Cross Game is a slice-of-life romance story centered all around the game of baseball. It's a slow-paced, easy-going 50 episodes of living with plenty of time for you to settle in and get comfortable. It's a show in a genre that isn't really required or known for having banger first episodes. You know what you're getting yourself into before you press play, especially in this case if you're familiar with Adachi's previous work. They're all the same. Sports, love triangles, characters that look like they broke out a monkey ball. And while Cross Game stays true to Adachi's blueprint, it does separate itself from the pack by doing one of the best things a first episode can do. Tell a complete story. Cross Game throws us right into the dog days of a childhood summer vacation. Cicadas chirping, kids playing, our lead characters leading. Ko, Wakaba, and Alba's families are linked by occupational fate as they operate the Tsukushima Batting Center and its neighboring sporting goods store, respectively. Much of this episode is spent establishing this fate through Ko and Wakaba's relationship, because not only are their parents running neighboring businesses, Ko and Wakaba were born on the same day, in the same hospital, on the same floor, in neighboring rooms. Life shipped these two from the very beginning, and the two of them happily lean into it. Ko and Wakaba chew up most of the episode's runtime doing childhood crush things. Things that are going so well, you might start to even wonder how the hell a patented Adachi love triangle could even fit here, let alone involve Wakaba's sister, Alba. Because maybe destiny isn't real. Or maybe your fate isn't quite what you thought it was when you were just 11 years old. Life seems infinite when you have at least seven more summer breaks ahead of you, doesn't it? A thing you want to say to your crush... You could say it tomorrow, two weeks from now. Go ahead and put it on your calendar. You'll get to it. And that's exactly what Ko and Wakaba do before she leaves to go to swimming camp. And it's also the last thing the two of them would ever do together. As Ko is excitedly awaiting her return, he unceremoniously overhears from his TV that a girl at a swimming camp drowned in an attempt to save another kid. That girl who drowned is Wakaba Tsukushima. What remains in Cross Game's first episode is a perfect representation of what it feels like to be young and lose your first loved one. For me, I was in fourth grade when my grandfather had passed, and at nine years old, you understand enough to know they're gone, but you also have a different and immature view of the world. You might think, old people die, why is everyone sad? Don't they just go to heaven? Of course you love them, but you're new to this. You're still learning and you're growing up, and so while you process this information, you look around at others. You look to see how they're reacting. You look to see how your parents react, how your aunts and uncles react, maybe your cousins or older siblings if you have them. You feel an emotion you are still too young to have ever dealt with before. It's grief. And as you finish taking that look around at everyone, you see them crying. And you realize this loss is permanent. And that, oh yeah, I deal with this the same way they do. And this realization bookends Cross Game's first episode as Ko asks himself the question, what do I do now? He cries. Cross Game Episode 1's complete story comes to a close. The innocence of love and the pain of loss and how we face these things head on as kids. This sets up the rest of Cross Game's story beautifully as we realize the story's love triangle is not between three active participants, but between Ko, Alba, and Grief. Cross Game is my favorite anime of all time, and whether you're a baseball fan or not, it's a story we can all find ourselves in, so I really encourage you to give it a look. And whether you take my recommendation or not, I'd love to hear yours. So let me know in the comments down below what are some of your best examples of a perfect first episode. And if you'd like to hear from me more often than the once every three years I upload a video, links to all my socials can be found down in the description below. So come and say hello!